two stems, that's pretty good. Helps the martins climb. In woodland near Dunkeld, a Douglas fir is selected as a des res for a family of pine martins. Yeah, that one will do. It's hoped they'll set up home in a specially constructed box. And the central chamber is essentially the nest box itself. And then at the bottom, we put a few inches of wood shaving just for extra comfort. Forestry and Land Scotland is encouraging the existing pine marten population to breed as part of efforts to protect native red squirrels. The martens are voracious predators and kill and eat invasive grey squirrels, while the reds can largely stay out of danger. The red squirrels and the European pine martens have evolved together, which means that they have like an evolutionary arms race and the squirrels have developed their ways of keeping out of the way of uh, pine martens. Little red squirrels can get on very fine, delicate branches that pine martens can't. Is there a potential conflict targeting other species? Uh, that is something we would have considered, the other species that, that could potentially be predated. In forests like these, all the, all the, all the studies show that um, field voles are the most common, commonly predated animal. The nesting box project will see more than 30 installed in forests along the A9 corridor and the east of Scotland. Hold it there. These areas are being targeted as, for the first time, greys have been seen north of Dunkeld and moving from Angus into Aberdeenshire, threatening reds in the highlands. If they weren't an invasive non-native species, that would be a different situation, but unfortunately they are very invasive, both in terms of out-competing red squirrels um, and also uh, the squirrel pox and the spread of squirrel pox, which is, it doesn't impact on grey squirrel population whatsoever, but it decimates red squirrel populations. The Highland line has always kind of kept the grey squirrels out of the highlands. Uh, obviously, there's the uh, populations around Aberdeen, but other than that, the highlands have been grey squirrel free, and we need to keep it that way. But these, the odd animals that are now being seen in pit lockery are suggesting that that won't, even, even at current, um, the great work that Saving Scotland's Red Squirrels are doing with the control, they're doing a fantastic job, but even that's not really stopping it just now. The dens have already been used with some success in woodlands in Galloway and Aberdeen, adding to the armoury in the battle to save Scotland's red squirrels. Susan Nicholson, STV News.